the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for sending us the Spirit of Truth, whom we encounter every time we receive the Holy Eucharist through the eyes of faith. Your Spirit tells us who you really are and whose we are. Your Spirit reveals us that we are all children of the Father. Jesus, life of all, have mercy on us. Jesus, freedom of the imprisoned, have mercy on us. Jesus, joy of the sorrowing, have mercy on us. Jesus, giver of the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Jesus, giver of good gifts, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal high priest, have mercy on us. Jesus, priest and victim, have mercy on us. Jesus, altar and sacrifice, have mercy on us. Mary, mother of the Eucharistic Jesus, Pray for us. From the Gospel according to John, Jesus said, I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts, but I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. sa bayan ng Santa Lucia, Ilocosur, dumako po tayo sa ating ikatlong simbahan sa ating visita iglesia dito sa Parish of St. John de Sahagun dito sa Kandon, Ilocosur. Pagkilala sa sarili, unang hakbang sa pakikipagdayalogo. Maraming dumaranas ng matinding kalungkutan o depression sa panahon ngayon. Andiyan ang pakiramdam hindi lamang na walang nakauunawa sa kanila, 
kundi mismong Diyos ay iniwanan na sila. Sa mga kapatid natin sa ganitong sitwasyon, kailangan ng masidhing gabay at patnubay. Dama ng Diyos ang kanilang pikati at pinagdaraanan. Ano man ang mangyari, mahal at yayakapin sila ng habag at malasakit ng Diyos. May nalalaman si Jesus na hindi lubusang maintindihan na maalagad. Kailangan niyang bumalik sa Ama nang sa gayoy magbigay daan ito sa pagdating ng Espiritu Santo, ang magahatid sa kanila sa buong katotohanan tungkol sa tatlong bagay. Una, uko sa kasalanan. Ikalawa, na si Jesus na muling nabuhay ay inosente at mali ang ipinaratang uko sa kanya. At ikatlo, sa pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, nagapi niya ang kaaway at kamatayan. Na isa katuparan ni Jesus ang gawaing kaligtasan dahil kilala niya ang sarili. Mahal siya ng Ama at katuwang niya ang Espiritu Santo. Hindi siya nag-iisa sa misyon at walang dapat katakutan. Ang pinakamalaga at ang tanging kaligayahan ni Jesus ay gawin ang kalooban ng Ama. May kasabihan ho tayo, self-knowledge is the highest knowledge. Ang pagkilala o kaalaman sa sarili ang pinakamataas na antas ng kaalaman. Kung kilala ang sarili ang ating mga kakayahan at kahinaan, ang ating pananampalataya at misyon, ang dakilang katotohanan na mahal tayo ng Diyos, may tiwala sa sarili. Gayun din may tiwala sa likas na kabutihan ng kapwa. Hindi pinag-iisipan ng masama ang kapwa at hindi nababagabag sa pagkakaiba-iba natin. Manalangin tayo. Panginoong Jesus sa banal na Eukaristiya, pagkaluban mo kami ng katatagan at katapangan sa gitna ng mga pag-uusig at mga paghihirap alang-alang sa misyon. Sa pamamagitan ng mga panalangin ni San Juan de Sahagun, mas makilala nawa namin ang sarili bilang tunay na minamahal ng amang nasa langit at lahat kami ay magkakapatid. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.